If you're working on a group assignment, um, it may be that you are drafting content in your sandbox before migrating it to the Wikipedia Live space. Now, at the top of my page, you'll see my username. And that's my user page, my talk page, where people leave me messages, and my sandbox page. This is where I draft content before it goes into the Wikipedia Live space. So for the assignment, you may be drafting content here first. But if you're working with other people in your group, what's important is to put the article together in one person's sandbox so that when the article's all together, you can then migrate it from their sandbox into the Wikipedia Live space. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring up another Wikipedia in a different window. And I'm going to look for someone else's username. This is going to be, I'm going to imagine this is one of my classmates. And they are drafting content in their sandbox number five about the assignment. Okay, now there's no content in there just now, but let's imagine that we want to migrate content from my sandbox, use a stingle hammer, and this line at the top is always what you can search for here. And you can have multiple sandboxes, and I can show you how to do that. But the main thing is, if you want to migrate content from one sandbox here into someone else's sandbox, the best way of doing it is through the source editor. The reason being is if you try and comp copy content um, copy words like from here from the visual editor to someone else's visual editor it doesn't always copy across exactly like you want so I'm going to hit, hit undo to redo that what we want is to copy everything and what the edit source editor does is make sure that you copy all the coding elements all the references all the links all the bullet points. So you just copy everything you want to go across. Hit Control C or right click to copy. And then you go to their page and you're just copying from source editor to source editor. So I'm clicking edit source so that I can then paste my content into their page and then to complete the save, I'm using a short edit summary at the bottom, added paragraphs on Mary Sign Boyd or whatever I'm writing about to complete the save. Normally you wouldn't uh, edit a page that's related to someone's username because it's part of their user account, but for the assignment purposes it's uh, perfectly okay to migrate content from one sandbox to another because you've agreed to do so beforehand. So now that you've got the content in there and saved, perhaps you want already and you've got all the content in user E. McAndrews sandbox number five and you want to paste it into a live article so you would bring up another window, let's imagine it's the global health article so I'm going to navigate to that article and because we're copy and pasting again, we're going to open this article up into the source editor. And we're going to open our sandbox up into the source editor. And we're just going to migrate the content. I'm going to avoid the user sandbox link at the top because that's related to, to someone else's sandbox. I'm just going to take all the information that I want to be in the new article. I'm just going to take all of that and pay, find the relevant section where it's going to go. Let's imagine it's in the history section. And I'm just going to paste it in. And then I can do a show preview to make sure it looks OK before I make the edit. And you'll see there's some of my Mary Stein Boyd information there. It's, it's obviously wrong for this article, but so I won't 
complete the edit and then when you're ready and everything looks okay then just put in a little edit short summary of added section on for example global health in China and then hit publish changes to complete the edit and that's it migrated across that's all there is to it